Hey, hey, my YouTube family. Man, it has been a minute since I've allowed you guys into my home. First home or second home, because you know this is my first one and my second home is the gym. And I apologize, it's just been a little hectic with trying to uh, wind down from competition season and then kind of wind back up and juggle the holidays and all that type of stuff. Nevertheless, I always love, uh, it won't happen again, all right? That, that's what I can assure you guys uh, because I love communicating with you guys on here. I love bringing videos to you guys and I love uh, allowing you guys into my life. This video, guys, is gonna be my top three things to build your best muscle out there, to build your fastest muscle out there. Well, it's actually probably about five, six, seven, eight things in totality, but you can just put it under the umbrella of three main things. This is also what I'm going to be uh, focused on uh, even more so than I have in the past. I knew that they were very important, but I'm gonna be focused on them even more so leading into this next year, into the competition season, as I'm trying to put on even more muscle. You heard me right. I am trying to put on more muscle, even though I have to come down, guys, to uh, the uh, same weight in the classic division. The method and how we are gonna do that is by be just getting leaner. Yes, put on more muscle, you get leaner, and then um, eventually you find yourself at the same weight. So if I have to be ne negative, I don't know, less than 2.5% body fat, negative. <laughs> Not negative, but less than 2.5% body fat, around 2% body fat, so be it. Then that's what we do. We can because we believe and um, we just do the damn work. And it's for the damn win. Enough of all that little intro. Got a, I, I even got off track a little bit and uh, got off into a tangent. Number one, I would definitely say your water. Your water intake, guys, and managing your water levels, right, in your body. So if our body, guys, is made up of 70% water, then that tells you how important water is to our body, to in every capacity, mind, body, soul, right? Um, so you have to uh, take in as much water as, as you need. You have to take in a sufficient amount of water so you can you give your muscles um, the muscle cells, the right amount of hydration as to perform, uh, the right am amount of hydration to not uh, go into stress. Yes, to essentially perform and keep getting better and keep uh, improving in your performance from day to day to day, week to week to week, month to month to month, right? Guarantee you guys, if you guys are uh, slacking on your water or you guys aren't sufficient all the time with your water intake, you're doing yourself a disservice and uh, you are uh, not allowing your, your body to reach its full potential the fastest uh, way possible if you are dehydrated out there and you're not um, giving it, uh, your body a sufficient amount of water. Universally would be a gallon of water a day. Lesser active people, I would probably say a little bit less, but if you're active out there, especially hardcore lifters, uh, a gallon to even more, uh, at least a day. Hydration and your water intake is very, 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 very important in your recovery, right? Number two is rest, rest and sleep. I remember guys, it was two years ago when uh, I was stressed out about something. It was maybe about three or four weeks out from Olympia and um, I was just stressed. I can't remember what it was right now, but just super stressed about something and maybe about three or four hours later, my body looked totally different. It looked like I had probably lost like five, to five, six, seven pounds of muscle. Just deflation, deflation. Staying stress-free stress -free as much as possible and just getting uh, uh, enough rest, right? Because if you're not getting enough rest, that'll definitely stress you out and that'll definitely raise your cortisol levels, right? To where your body uh, is not functioning right, your body is struggling. We hear that it's eight hours out there is sufficient enough uh, for us. Um, I say whatever allows you to be fresh and function still, uh, you know, I think that would probably at least be six for most people out there, at least be six. For me, it's eight for sure. Sometimes even nine for me <laughs> uh, with, a, with a nap in there. 
But um, whatever allows you to feel that your best, your freshest, uh, your most you have, to give you your most bounce, then that's what you get. So you know, we'll do, let's let's go with an average of eight. And I know it's easier said than done out there, guys. But you know, it's very very important. Not even if you're trying to build muscle, man. But to just uh, make all the money that you want to make out there. Uh, still, you know, we we joke about. We, we, it's not a joke, but everybody, you know, the the it's a favorite saying on oh, I'll rest when I I'll rest when I'm dead. You know, but now it's money making time. You know, people like to throw that out there when they when you gotta hustle, 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 hustle to make money. But you ain't gonna be you you gonna be unravel out there, guys, if you are hustling so much and not sleeping. Uh, you're gonna drive yourself. You're gonna go crazy. Over time, guaranteed, guaranteed. So get sleep, get rest, feel fresh. Cause I tell you what, man, if I'm, I'm addressing you guys and I'm doing these videos for you guys and I'm tired all the time, guys, you guys are going to see it. I'm not going to be able to have the bounce that I, that I normally, uh, you know, like to have and that you guys expect. Um, you know, if I'm, if I'm tired out there and I'm not sleeping and I'm not getting a sufficient enough, uh, amount of rest. All right. So very, very, very important stress levels staying down with sleep. Now, it's, it's, you know, life is life and we all go through things and we all have stress anyway, even if we are having a lot of sleep, uh, getting a lot of sleep. Yeah, I know. I understand that. But um, you're going to eliminate a lot of uh, negative things that can happen out there for you uh, just with sleep alone. And then you will be able to handle the, all the other stresses out there. That was the second thing. The third thing, you have to master all the basics. Guys, you have to master all the basics, okay? And I'm talking to myself too, guys, because I'm still working on mastering my basics. Now, let's talk about what the basics are. We'll talk about what the basics are if you're a non-competitor, and we'll talk about what the basics are if you're a competitor, all right? Uh, it's only very, very slightly different if you're either one. Number one, right? We'll say training is your basic. We're gonna, we'll do it in the outline way, like one, and then A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, it's best, guys, if you go to train every day at the same time and your body is able to get a, in a rhythm of uh, your day-to-day -day training and the times that you do it, right? Because it, your body's smart now because it, it, it knows, okay, it's time to build muscle. It's time to build muscle. And if you're all over the place with your times, it's like, oh, okay, wait a minute. We have to adjust. You know, you're, you're, we have to adjust. We have to adjust now and try to build a muscle. Then we got to figure it out. Give the body less, less, uh, less things to figure out and try to get to the gym at this, around the same times, guys, every single day. Number two, your nutrition. Very, very, very important. Guys, you're not gonna build enough muscle if you're not staying anabolic with your nutrition, with enough protein, with enough carbs, with enough fats, carbs and fats. You need carbs and fats too, guys, to build muscle, okay? And this is like 2A or 2B. As your nutrition is super, super important, uh, eating on time, guys. Eating on time, pre-training, post-training, uh, throughout the day is very, very important as well. Eat in a timely manner. Be on time with your meals. If you're supposed to eat at three o'clock, get to eating at three o'clock. If you're supposed to eat the post meal at uh, 5.30, get to eating at 5.30. And it stands to reason, right? Because how is an assembly line, guys? Uh, how does that operate? Everything goes in order. You know, it's put together in order, put together in order, put together in order to create the machine. Same thing with our bodies. We need to give it a rhythm. We need to give it a flow. We need to be punctual with it. So we, we covered the training, we now, we went into the nutrition, okay? We talked about the rest, the recovery, right? As a, with the sleep, okay? Your rest and recovery is very, very important, again, right? I'll throw that one, that, that one in there as well. That's like on one of the top three and in addition to uh, these mastering the basics, needs to definitely be highlighted. Your rest, guys, and recovery. Okay, and so your rest can also, uh, and recovery can also, you can throw your supplementation in there. Okay, your recovery, you, your BCAAs, your glutamine, we're saying rest, recovery, supplementation, all together, and in a timely manner. I hope you guys 
uh, enjoyed that little video. I hope you guys got a little something out of that. I hope you guys also just take it ultra serious now. Champ thoughts, champ motions, shirts. You can see it there by on the bottom. Guys, available now with, uh, and you get two free eBooks, right? Get your shirts. Also have uh, Desire and Legacy shirts, also in black. Champ thoughts, champ motions in black. Yeah, right? And so grab your shirts, guys, on the website, forthedamnwin.com. Having fun with it, staying inspired. And um, I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, or hit the bell because we're not going to have this longer lapse in videos anymore. Okay, we're going to continue to bring them to you guys in, you know, a lot more, a lot more consistent on a weekly basis, like we did before, like we did before. We're going to just keep the party going, damn it. All right, so I love you guys. Enjoy. Um, happy holidays, but we're going to be uh, hollering at you guys all through the holidays. I don't know if you guys can see my tree back there or my reefs on the staircase. <laughs> we get into the holiday spirit. All right, love you guys, and I'll uh, see you guys on the next video. All right, Black Swan over here and out.